Today, I'm going to talk to you about misdirected leadership. Autumn leaves, but Jesus never will. Oh, I am so sorry for that one. I happened to uh, see it on a bulletin board outside of a church today. Let's see if I can make things just a little bit better with a different story. You know, I heard about a young man who had been discipled by a leader in the missional movement. He went to a seminar on leadership in the Christian church. And he was really excited about that. So he got into the auditorium with a thousand other people and up on stage was an older gentleman with a whiteboard behind him. Now the older gentleman stood up and he said, who can give me the attributes of a great leader? Dead silence. Now obviously this older gentleman had five or six or ten concepts already in his mind. He would have taken any of them. But there was no answer. After a while, the young disciple of the missional leader yelled out, love. The older gentleman looked at him strangely, took two steps backwards and said, uh, uh, yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. And turned around and wrote it in the lower right hand corner of the whiteboard. Can you imagine Jesus Christ standing in front of a thousand people in blue jeans and a t-shirt in front of a whiteboard? Well, maybe for you it would be a suit and a tie. You know, I really can't imagine either. But let's just pretend Jesus was standing in front of a group with a whiteboard and ask that same question. What does it take to be a great leader? I'm sure he would come up with things like sacrificial love. I think right below that he would put humble servanthood. And just below that, I'm sure he would write something like putting others before ourselves. Would he put up the things that the other gentlemen wanted for leadership? You know, things like vision, discipline, emotional strength, experience, passion, decision-making skills? Would he have put those things up? Maybe but I'm sure he would have written those in the bottom right-hand corner of his whiteboard. You see, I am very, very concerned about what's happening in the church today. But let me make one thing perfectly clear. I am not upset at pastors, and I am not upset at church leaders, and I am not upset at people in the church. What I am upset about, what I'm, the barrier that I'm trying to break down, is a system that has moved away from the simplicity of Jesus and brought a 20th century business model to the church. The results of that, as you've seen in my other blogs, are sputtering, bleeding, bankrupt, hated. You know, Jesus was very simple. He gave us a mission, go make disciples. He gave us the vision to fulfill that, baptize them and teach them whatever I've told you to live. Help them live that. It's just that simple and we've made it so complex. You know my heart is that you and leaders in the church and other people will listen very carefully to a quote from Francis Chan. Francis Chan said, never fear failure. Fear succeeding at things that just really don't matter think about that. I think in the church there are some that are succeeding at a lot of things that really don't matter much in the kingdom of God. But don't let that be you. You go out there this next week and by God's grace you make it a great week that honors and glorifies your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ.